Okay, here we go. Here is the iPad. Here is my review of the iPad. I had a lot of doubts um, when I first uh, heard about it, and now that I have it, I love it. So here is a quick uh, video review. The first thing is if you shut it down like this, and now you shut it, you start it again. See how fast it is. Try to do that with a computer, even a Mac. You know, it's really fast. So if you just, you know, need to browse something and want to see a web page or something new really fast. Then it's, it's super, super snappy. So see how fast I can move from one thing to another from my mail, it opens right there, um, which is pretty good actually. From um, uh, going to the iPod or going to the uh, uh, different um, apps here, the App Store, it's really super fast. That's the, uh, the thing which is really surprising compared to uh, a uh, any well first any tablet that I have touched before obviously or any PC or Mac it's really really um, uh, fast I have my uh, cheat uh, cheat card here uh, the press reading <laughs> let's see so reading on um, the iPad is a uh, is a mixed bag is it's really weird because so I've been reading for um, six months on a uh, on a Kindle and um, it's 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 really better in some ways and much worse in other ways. So first, if you read a book, so let me let me launch my Kindle app here, which is pretty nice as you can see. Um, if you see here, that's not what I wanted to do actually. So if you read a book, um, it's pretty good. It looks much better at the beginning than um, than the Kindle just because it's color. So if you have color books, see, I, I am still learning. Here we go, home. Um, so yeah, here you have all my books here showing archived. Here we go. See how cool is that? So that's a much better experience than on a Kindle. And then if you have uh, books such as this one, the digital photography book, which I'm opening right now, Actually, I think it's downloading it, yeah. So it's going to take a little while because it's downloading it right now. So if you, if you have a book like that, which has a lot of uh, visuals, a lot of pictures, a lot of graphics, then it, 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 it's so much better than the Kindle because it opens very fast while the Kindle is a little slow. Here we're downloading, so that's kind of normal. See if I open Born to Run, how fast it is, like now browsing pages. Um, but now, if, and so that's much better, you see the graphics, you see the, the pictures, um, but now what's not good is that you can't read on the sunlight. This is like a big mirror, so if you open a book, which is uh, even, you know, it's obviously it's white like this, and so this like reflects the light so much that you can't really read on it, and if you have sunglasses, you don't see anything. So, not very good. Uh, I would have loved also to have a layout, um, a portrait view like this, where you have two pages, and that doesn't exist either, at least on the Kindle app. So for this, Kindle wins um, if you are outside. If you're inside, like here, it's fine. You can read, it's pretty nice. And, uh, and it's very fast, very good experience. Reading the press, though, which is something that frustrated me on the, uh, uh, on the Kindle app is you don't have your uh, subscription. So I have a Le Monde and I have a Wall Street Journal subscription on my Kindle. It didn't show up here just because the, um, because the I, I guess they want to do their apps directly. So here are, I, I, got, I got a few apps. I got, um, what is it, Paris Match, Paris Match, which I never read. <laughs> okay. Um, here you can experiment out. I didn't even notice there were music in there. So, by the way, the uh, speakers inside the iPad are very good, um, much better than uh, than um, you know, like an equivalent notepad or notebook, like a small device like this. Speakers generally lame. This is pretty good. Look at this now. This is what I think makes it kind of magic and revolutionary. Is you have the feeling of a magazine here. Oh, that's actually a video. See right there. So this is even better than Paris Match paper because now I have uh, I have actually a video of what is it? Can I, I randomly clicked on something? So now let's go back. What is this? 
Medvedev, uh, look at that. This is really amazing. This is as close as you can get to reading the normal, the traditional paper magazine, but actually better because you can have videos. See, now I have another video right there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's really nice. Um, you can have uh, so you can read, of course, and that that what make, makes it very unique. And I think it's going to um, to change the press. It's definitely going to have me read more press, especially since I live in San Francisco. So I'm a bit, you know, I cannot get the paper press much, and it's nice. So if you take Le Monde, this is also a great experience. So I bought one copy here of Le Monde, which should be available. Oh, of course, that's now it gives me uh, yesterday. See, that's Le Monde, multi-touch, great, with, uh, of course, the iPad uh, on the cover page of yesterday's Le Monde. And now you can change pages and zoom in. But it's better than that. Now, if I double tap on this, it should open the article itself. Let's see. Well, I'm still here. Here we go. So now we have the article itself. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, and the, the pictures are sharp, very nice, very good uh, feeling. So it, it really makes you see. Now I have two pages. Really makes you uh, feel like reading more. So that that's a great one. Um, for now, for browsing, the browser is really really good. So uh, if you browse like TechMeme, see how fast it was. So I like this as a as a third computer or even a fourth computer, like my out of the bed computer. If you see what I mean, you just grab it and you can read stuff. Um, you can zoom on one, you can access. It's really nice. I, I have a few, there obviously there are a few drawbacks. Like if you go to uh, Google Analytics, you won't see the uh, graph showing up. If you go to Google Docs, you won't see it either. Um, and, uh, and, and I guess those are, you know, it's, it's, it's linked to the fact that it's, it's very new. But that's, uh, that's going to uh, change, as everybody will uh, likely um, do. Everybody or, or many people will do um, iPad versions of their sites. And so here I'm trying, actually, as I'm uh, talking to you, to uh, access uh, Seismic Web on it. And I think so. one of the interesting things is that the um, um, iPad will is really close to a computer, obviously, uh, since the screen is so large. So sometimes you don't really need an app. And like if you try the uh, Facebook.com or Twitter on it, either the mobile version or even the standard version, they're very good. So like you needed an app on mobile versions, on mobile um, devices, because the main site kind of looks bad. But here it looks really good, actually. So look at, this is Seismic Web. I don't know if you can see very well, probably not. but. It looks really good. The only thing is that it doesn't, it's not optimized for uh, touch and scrolling. So you can't really scroll in the columns, but it looks really, really good. So what we're doing is we're optimizing this for, um, for the iPad. And we'll have, uh, we'll have a uh, web app then very soon, which doesn't mean we won't do a, also a real app, but we'll have a um, seismic web for the iPad very soon. Other thing which is uh, really good is the, um, uh, if you go to Google Reader, you'll uh, you'll see the um, here we go. You'll see the uh, uh, mobile version of Google Reader. Uh, by the way, Mail has done uh, Gmail. I'm sorry, has done a really good um, uh, a really good job on optimizing Mail for the iPad. With the uh, uh, everything is touch optimized, and that's that's you know the way we're going with Seismic Web right now. So this is, uh, this is Google Reader, nothing new. This is Google Reader mobile version, but very nice here. Uh, you can open a, an article, it will open right there, and I, I still use a lot Google Reader, of course. And you see the little star here, you can tap one and it will share. And what we did is we uh, connected Ping FM to a share. Now you can add an RSS feed into Ping FM, which is experimental. We have not even announced it, but it's up if you want to try. And now if you add your Google Reader RSS feed into Ping FM, you just share here and it will ping everything, which for me is really cool because you can find something nice and just, um, just share it by just tapping here. The little, uh, the little star, it will send it to all the social networks.
So yeah, we'll, uh, I, I think the, in terms of social networking, it's very interesting to see what's going to happen with the, um, the apps here. Because as I said, like Facebook, for example, I guess apps will do a good job, but the Facebook site is really good already. Now, um, there are a lot of good social networking apps already, and congratulations to um, everybody who's done an app already. And yeah, we'll have, we'll have, we'll have something. We'll have something too. I didn't say soon. I said we'll have something. Uh, in terms of uh, music, photos, and uh, and movies, um, well, just before that, typing. As expected, I don't really like it. So, if you do this is mail, let's see. So this is mail on the iPad. If I do reply, now I have a keyboard which is you know, huge in this uh, 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 portrait mode, um, landscape mode, I'm sorry. But like, as expected, it doesn't work very well for me. It's good for casual emailing, you know, like casual writing, but you know, not to do a full document basically. So uh, I would like, for example, I would, would I, would I use, yeah, go on uh, holidays only with an iPad for a week? Probably not, or I would need the, uh, I would need the, um, um, the keyboard, uh, the Bluetooth keyboard, I guess. But yeah, that's not very good. I took the 16 gig version, which is uh, this one here, and um, it's um, it's great because I thought I didn't, I wouldn't store much, but it wouldn't sync with my iTunes library with uh, pictures and the uh, music I have because it's above 16 gig. So. That's already something, you know, if you get one and you, if you can, you know, get the bigger one, you probably should because um, it's a little limited. Um, now, let's see, oh, I, uh, the time, see the time, Time Magazine is, um, it just downloaded, so I thought like uh, checking it out. What, I, what do I, oh, here we go. <laughs> By the way, the ads are looking also really good, so I think they will be able to monetize. See, this is a very cool, um, very cool uh, experience. Now games. Uh, I, I got a few games like just to just to try, but one of them is uh, uh, Need for Speed, <laughs> which uh, my kid couldn't stop. Can you hear? Couldn't uh, stop playing yesterday, and it's pretty nice. So let's see. <laughs> I don't play much, but. I had to try, and honestly, this is very nice. Well, it loads one thing which isn't very nice is all the 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 touch, you know, the all the finger traces on it. See how cool it is. The screen is beautiful. And now I'm driving. <laughs> of course, it's not going to be very handy, but. You can see, I mean, this is really nice. I think it's going to be a great, uh, a great gaming machine. Another one I got is Explain, the uh, flight simulator. And same, I was very surprised by the, by the, con by the, uh, how it looks and uh, how snappy it is, how good is the screen resolution. Uh, see, now we're flying. We were driving, now we're flying. Let's see, touch anywhere. Very easy to use, by the way. Um, yeah, it's got, that's going to be a little difficult in such a... Uh, here we go. Are we flying? Yeah, we're flying now. <laughs> we're flying a little Cessna. Oops, I'm trying to take off while I'm showing it to you, which uh, obviously doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work very well. Did we crash? Not yet. Oh, here we go. So now we're flying. And hopefully not crashing too fast, but that's that's also a nice uh, experience. So anyway, does you know? Of course, there are a few frustrations, like no multitasking, for example. So like if you go from your mail, there is a link here. You click the link, it will open the browser. You read what you wanted to read. To go back to mail, you have to shut down the browser, go back to mail, open the mail, find your mail. You see what I mean? It's not very smooth. Like the multitasking um, isn't. I mean, it's clearly missing. It's there for mail. You can check your mail in the background. I think it's there for the iPod, like music, but 
that's that's disappointing. There are little you know frustrations as uh, Wi-Fi it loses Wi-Fi while other devices uh, see Wi-Fi very well. So uh, it looks like Apple has some um, uh, optimization to do on the Wi-Fi. I'm not too concerned by that. I guess they'll uh, they'll fix it as they always do with their updates. And um, yeah, um, it, it, they're very very revolutionary. I think uses we will see which we didn't expect, like the. Uh, like Square from Jack Dorsey is a is a very nice experience here. Like you're thinking about this becoming a, a, a cash register, you plug the little card reader here, and imagine your waiter in your favorite restaurant coming with this and even showing you maybe how it looks like. I don't know, but I think we'll see uses with tablets in general and the iPad in particular uh, that we that we uh, that we really uh, don't expect. It's the same with like I was browsing, browsing the uh, App Store. There is an app for um, uh, pilots, private pilots, you know, to carry all the U.S. Um, maps and charts, you know, visual and instruments in one device, which which has to be really cool. Obviously, uh, instead of you know carrying lots of um, lots of paper, and that's a perfect device, except the sunlight reading, I guess. So. The, the feeling after 24 hours is great, and you know what? When I go back to my computer, I miss things from the iPad already, which is probably a sign that this will be really huge. Um, for example, if I want to go back on my browser, I could use a keyboard shortcut on the computer, but generally what you do is you take your fingers out of your keyboard, go to your mouse, from your mouse you go there and then you click, right? Well, here you go and it's much faster. You see what I mean? It's like you get really used to browsing with your fingers and the multi-touch uh, very, very fast. And uh, uh, that's, that's a very good sign. So does it have the potential to become something revolutionary? I have uh, to admit that it's, um, it has exceeded most of my expectations. It has some drawbacks, but I already love it. Um, except, again, from reading outside, that is much better on a Kindle. But as a developer, I think it's now, you know, uh, it's going to be very important to have super optimized apps for tablets in general. Let's see what you know, Android and Windows tablets uh, will become because uh, that won't stay the only device on the market. Obviously, there is already the HP Slate announced and so on. So we'll see. But yeah, I think it's going to be huge now. <laughs> And I think if you buy one, you have to make sure to buy one for your girlfriend or your wife as well, because uh, or your boy boyfriend or husband if you're, because um, uh, she or he will be very jealous, and she probably will, you know, like to have one as well. So get one. That's a tip. Anyway, uh, should I advise you to buy one? Yeah, do it if you can. Take the 64 gig, and. Um, if you can wait, maybe wait for one with 3G inside. I don't know, but it's a great device. Congratulations, Apple. I'm very impressed.